Hi, welcome back. My name is Ginez, we're prenatal genie. I'm an international board certified lactation consultant, a registered nurse, and a mom. And in today's video, I am going to show you how to use your Spectra S2 or your Spectra S1, how to use it, how to set it up, the best settings to use to get the most milk. So by the end of the video, you have all the information that you need to successfully use your Spectra S1 or your Spectra S2. So if you're interested, keep on watching. I want to start with some general information. The Spectra S1, which is the blue one, um, and the Spectra S2, which is this one that needs to be connected to an outlet, the Spectra S1 has a rechargeable battery. I recently made a video on how to convert the Spectra S2 into a portable um, breast pump. So you could watch that video after this one. They're both closed system uh, breast pumps, which means that the backflow protectors prevent milk from flowing into the tubing and in turn into the motor, okay? So that's very good in a breast pump. Another thing is they, um, they're widely available through insurance they have a good reputation a lot of moms recommend it and like it the spectra s2 and the spectra s1 they are equipped with a safety feature um, the pump will automatically turn off after 30 minutes of pumping time so that's good to, to know so the spectra s2 and the spectra s1 have a two-phase expression mode um, it mimics a baby suckling at the breast and this this combination, the two phase, helps in getting the most milk out of the breast. So now let's talk about the parts. These are the parts that we're going to need in order to pump with your Spectra S1 or your Spectra S2, okay? So your kit should come with two tubings, two milk containers, two sets of backflow protectors, two valves, two main brains, and it's gonna come with two sets of two sizes. A lot of moms think that the breast shields, um, they get four and they're the same size. No, so one set is 28 millimeter, and you'll find the sizes here on the side of the pump. So it'll come with a 28 and a 24. A 24 is usually standard, but it's very important to be fitted so you have the right size for you, okay? So those are the parts that we're gonna need. Now, we're going to wash the parts, except for the tubings. The tubings, you don't need to do this, okay? We're gonna wash with soapy, warm water, and then we're gonna sterilize and for 10 minutes in boiling water or in a steaming bag um, and then we're going to let it air dry once that's done then we're going to wash our hands okay and we're going to assemble the the two the, the set okay so we're going to use the breast shield connect the valves very important that everything is connected tightly then we're going to connect the milk container, and then you're gonna take the smallest size of the back flows and the main brain, and you're going to insert it, making sure everything is connected all the way, okay? And then you're going to put the other one on top, and it should look like that. And with the twisting motion, we're going to use the widest part and connect it to the to the breast shield okay and then the other side it connects to the tubing okay so the tubing you don't have to wash or anything because it's a closed system okay the tubing is made out of silicone and it does collect some lint but you could just use a baby wipe to get the lint off so now the pump has two ports here and a little um, stopper. Okay, so it has a little stopper and two ports. With the Spectra S2, 
and the Spectra S1. You could single pump, you could double pump. I recommend double pumping to get the most milk, but if you're breastfeeding on one side, you could also single pump um, on the other breast. And if you single pump, you just need to close one of the ports very important you need to close one of the ports if you're going to single pump okay so I'm going to close one of the ports because I'm only going to set one side just for demonstration purposes okay so we close that and we connect the tubing to the other port okay we could use like a twisting motion okay so you're going to repeat this step again for the other set okay let me know if you have any questions in the comments. So now we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to review the buttons in the, in the pump, okay? So here, you're going to see this button here is to power on the machine. Then this button here the, with the three little lines is to change between modes, like stimulation, massage mode, and expression, okay? The cycle plus and minus. This is what. This is how many times the machine is gonna pull and release your nipple. How many times it's gonna pull and release. All right. So I'm gonna talk about what cycle you wanna be in later in the video. And then the vacuum plus and minus is the strength of how how strong the pump is gonna pull and release your nipple. Okay. And then this button here is for a light as a backlight here and it has two settings for the light okay so one and then you press it again it's, it's brighter and then you press it again and it turns it off okay then we turn it off so those are the buttons of the spectra s2 or spectra s1 now we're going to talk about the settings the um the best settings to use for the spectra s1 or the spectra s2 something i want you to remember is breast pumping is all about hormone stimulation it's not about just like like trying to get milk no we need to get to a the right setting for you that's going to stimulate those breastfeeding hormones in your bloodstream and that's going to release the the milk okay so we're going to talk a little bit more about that so remember that Breast pumping is all about stimulating breastfeeding hormones. So then the milk is released. So what the recommendation is, when it comes to cycles, which is how many times um, it's gonna pull and release your nipple, research shows that a breastfed baby typically um, cycles at around 40, between 40 and 60, cycles per minute so a baby that's breastfeeding is going to suck about 40 to 60 times per minute so that's what we want to do here with the breast pump okay and then in terms of vacuum we have to find the right vacuum for you okay no two moms are the same so I'm gonna give you a range of what to use and remember pumping should not be painful same thing as breastfeeding we don't want any pain so if you feel that any of these settings are painful to you we want to lower you want to lower the levels okay it's very important that it's comfortable yes you want that pulling sensation but it should be comfortable okay it shouldn't be painful if you leave it, it you know if you leave it on and it's painful you're just damaging your breast tissue and your nipple okay so don't do that okay so now to how to pump all right so I have my breast model here and when you pump you want to make sure that you center that you center the nipple into the tunnel okay because we just want the nipple to be pulled in maybe a little bit of the areola but just the nipple to come in and out in and out okay we don't want a lot of rubbing on the side we don't want a lot of areola inside the tunnel so if you need help with flange fitting you could always reach out to an ibcoc in your area or you could contact me for um for a consult okay so when you hold your um, your your set your breast shield what you want to do is 
you don't want to like put a lot of force into your breast, okay? Because that's not gonna help with milk flow. You just want your breast to just fall into the into the breast shield, and you could either I recommend always to use a pumping bra. It just makes life easier and pumping because pumping is a lot of work. Um, so you could get a hands-free pumping bra. You could make your own, but it's 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 just better than holding it with your hands. Okay. So what I recommend before you start pumping is to massage your breasts. So you could do this side to side, up and down, up and down, side to side, circular motion. Okay, like this. Okay, so you wanna massage for 30, for 30 seconds, 30 seconds to 60 seconds, okay? And then you want to do that and you want to pump both at the same time unless you're breastfeeding baby on the other side. So with settings, we're gonna turn on the machine. We're going to turn on the machine and we're gonna press this little, the button with the three lines. When you start pumping, you wanna press that button because that's gonna put the machine in the massage stimulation mode, okay? This is gonna have a faster um, cycle and it's fixed. You cannot change that with the Spectra S1 or the Spectra S2. The cycle is fixed. What you could change is the levels, okay? So you could start with level three. If you could go higher, you could do level four, level five, but if it's not painful. If it's painful, just stay at level three, okay? If it's not painful, you can increase it. And we're gonna stay here for about two minutes or about until milk starts flowing, okay? Once you see milk flowing, then you're gonna press the three little line again button. You're gonna press it again, and that's gonna switch it to expression mode. And this mode is gonna be slower cycles but more, more suction because it's trying to remove more milk. And that's what a baby does at the breast, okay? So the cycle here starts at 38, all right? So you could leave it there. You could leave it at 38, but you want to maybe increase the level to level five, between level five, level eight, depending on your tolerance, okay? Remember, we don't want any pain. So, you could leave it at 38 and put it in level five or between five and eight, okay? And then that's gonna draw the milk and, and then you're gonna stay here until there's no more milk coming out. At that point, what you wanna do is with a, with a pump on, with the breast shield on, you want to compress. So you're not hurting yourself, but you are compressing the breast like this. Compressing the breast to get more milk um, removal, okay? When there's no more milk, then we're gonna go back to the button with the three lines to stimulate another letdown, okay? So we're gonna be there. We were in, le in level three before. You could stay there, you could increase it, whatever you think is comfortable for you. And we're gonna be here for another letdown. We're gonna be here until more milk starts coming out, okay? So that will be your second letdown, okay? Some moms have two, three, it depends. Every mom is unique, okay? So after that, we're gonna wait for the letdown, and then once the milk starts flowing again, we're gonna press the button with the three little line, and we're gonna go back to either 38, you could do 38 or 42, level five, between level five and level eight, okay? Until the same thing, until milk stops flowing, all right? Another thing that you could do is in between letdowns, like let's say you pump and no more milk is coming out and you're compressing, and then at that point you could massage and then press for, for another letdown, okay? It's really up to you. 
but if you compress it during your pumping session you're going to increase your um your milk output your milk removal okay so very important you want to follow this this sequence for for about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes no more than 20 minutes okay if at 20 minutes you still have milk flowing you could pump for another one two minutes and then you know that's enough all right um let me know if you have any questions in the comments okay so something that i always recommend when pumping um, and you could do this when pumping with your spectra s1 or your spectra s2 is after pumping for about two minutes hand express and you could hand express into your breast shield to to collect more milk okay i have a video on how to hand express trust me hand expression will really really um protect your milk supply so i always recommend after pumping do two minutes of hand expression right into the um, breast shield okay so after you finish pumping you could you know combine both both containers and then i'm gonna link in the description down below the cdc guidelines for safe milk handling and storage so you could follow those steps there and then you want to wash your parts after every time okay especially with what's happening with the pandemic and everything you want to make sure that your hands are clean that your parts are clean and and sterilized once once daily okay so very important if you have any questions please let me know in the comments um, i'm gonna continue making pumping like breast pumping tip videos so i could answer your questions here all right so thank you for watching if you feel this video could be helpful um, please share it and give it a like and be sure to subscribe for more videos take care bye bye